on it. Back in November, the Eagles lost a shootout in their first matchup against the Chargers. Can Los Angeles finish the sweep? Find out next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion LA Chargers taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. So it all comes down to this. We are ready and Super Bowl 58 off and running from New Orleans. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this will be caught by Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in a yard. is Brown looking to throw again on second down Hurts looking left side for Watkins and he's got him and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35 a gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down so how do you beat man coverage first of all you want to be a superior receiver but you know something that guy is covering you he's usually pretty good too so the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done so from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. 
The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. What we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Quills Watkins, 29 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead in this Super Bowl. Elliott Good with a PAT. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now, this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Charger drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. The following the sack. They'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some pushing. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a play fake. Lance. And the pressure gets to him again. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Fielded at the 33. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because 
We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments for a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. Yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes it all the way down to the three. 42 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. So down inside the five-yard line, I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Hurts with a quick throw, complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-6 our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here. Super Bowl. Pollard. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now, what are we going to see on fourth? We're soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Yeah. Right? It's an old fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. After the sack on first down, Lance. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. First down. First down. From midfield, here's Lance. And he fires one that's intercepted.
And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing his hurts. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24 yard line. But right now, it's clearly the defenses that are stealing the spotlight in the biggest stage of sports. That's only the fourth time ever, Charles, that we have seen teams trade interceptions on back-to-back -back drives in Super Bowl history. Something so rare and yeah. special that we're watching because typically the teams we see playing here on Super Bowl Sunday, they're the ones that know how to limit turnovers. Just goes to show how talented both of these defenses are, but they're still coming through and forcing miscues for the Lombardi Trophy on the line. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They go to the ground again with Taylor. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the first down, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to have a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. But well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. On second down, here's Lance. He rifles one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks it right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tully Pollard, 26 yards. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here for the end zone. 
And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. At their own 13-yard line. Here we go, set. The Charger drive about to get going. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I would get down the wrong patch, he said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Lance now on first down. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. To throw again on second down. Lance escaping the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. On third down, here's Taylor. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Back to Taylor on first down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been spread out a little bit. First and 10, Taylor now. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get go. They never went crashing the ball here before he even made the line and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Lance. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends his drive. The line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown. Jamar Chase as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Brandon Steely telling his troops to stay out there and go for two. They'll let Taylor try and run. And he'll get in as they're back with it as score now. The lead's down to seven. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass. So you spread people out, decide to run the football. You often find good running lanes. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense 
set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. In motion comes the tight end left. The tight end in motion right. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Play action. Here's Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hurts. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Burt sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half, and now seven on the game. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. 74 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off the play cell down. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Seven yards there on the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. But first down, Hurts. 
And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. To throw again on second down. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. He'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They come out here in the third quarter, possess the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And now defensively, you have to work at this like the game's on the line. It's just a third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Hurts completing this one quickly. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now they go screen. It's complete. And he is out of bounds here. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Super Bowl. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Lance now on first down. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. First and ten, here's Lance. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. So from the 36 now, first and ten. 
Working from the gun, Lance. He finds Taylor, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Lance. They'll roll him out right, and a fine chase on the right side, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looks like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Throwing on first down is Lance. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Now Lance again. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. But a Chargers player was able to fall on it, and they'll keep possession. Throwing again on second down. Lance. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant State. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third in the yard. The Lance going to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. See back in the 29. Desperation time here. Lance. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Eagles are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Elliott Good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But from both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles 30. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's Lance. And his throw is incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. They find some open field here. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 106 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this Super Bowl. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Taylor. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line. Second and six from the 10. Four yards on the pickup. Running left, Taylor. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. 
They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Lance going to try to throw for this. And he will get in for the two points to get this back to a three-score game. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. offense set to begin their next drive and they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter Charles and I don't think that they need to score again but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on they've scored on their last two drives certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there doesn't it games already decided as you noted so they can continue to play loose break out some other concepts maybe run a few trick plays get other people involved heck even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And some room to work. And they will finally drag him down at the Chargers 36 yard line. It's a gain of 35. Well, for a play that didn't look like much at the snap, that jet sweep turned into a big play in a hurry. And how about how they ran the play? Because they obviously caught the defense out of position and not expecting that one, and that turned into a nice chunk of yardage. But how about the execution? The handoff. Most of the times we see on the jet sweep, they punch it forward so that if it falls to the ground, it's just an incomplete pass. Here, you can execute it well, otherwise it's a fumble. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes, and boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. See if they do it anyway. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. with Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. But with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full play ball, no matter who's on the field. So a nice kick there as they're able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away.
And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace where the other offense are going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out person now. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, Lance. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, this game well in hand. Perhaps we were seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants it. And this is going to be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. There he goes left side. The 40. The 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better.